So this week, we're going to jump right in with a lot of news. That's what's going on. There's a lot of Apple stuff that just happened. So Apple released all new iPods today. All Every single iPod got refreshed, if you will. And They usually do this features. about once a year, about this time, right before the holiday season. So we were expecting it. The iPod Touch had its price lowered to $199. Okay. <laughs> the iPod Classic saw a storage bump, uh, so it's now 160 gigabytes rather than its previous 120. The Shuffle, they got rid of the older generation. They used to be selling two generations. Now they're just selling the one generation. Totally new colors. Still no buttons. Still it's all controlled from the headphone wire, which was pretty revolutionary a few months ago. Uh, and then the iPod Nano. Big news. That's the big news. Yeah, it got a video camera which I'm really excited about. It's pretty cool. They compared it in the presentation to the flip cameras, which you see around a lot today, just those those cameras that are about this big that you hold up and just takes some video at, I believe, 640 by 480. Yeah, resolution. it's perfect for YouTube. So. If, if you had a higher resolution camera, YouTube's gonna scale down to this revol resolution anyway, so it works out to be perfect. It also now has an FM radio, finally. It's about time, Apple. Like, Everyone's had yeah, one. Yeah, for years. Um, and the really cool thing, though, is you can do live pause so it's kind of like DVR for your radio. So you can pause it and you can rewind and fast forward in 15 minute increments. And the screen got bigger by 0.2 inches. 0.2 inches. That, that can mean a lot. Yeah. Ask the ladies. iTunes was also the other big news. We're now on iTunes 9. Go out and download it. It's available as of like 24 hours ago. Um, it's really cool. They've just made a lot of UI changes. They've made the store a lot simpler. Yeah, they like, kind of streamlined read. it so that it looks better. I always hated going to the store because it was like, I'd be all on my nice iTunes and it'd be cluttered. <sighs> You'll now get special features with your movies that you buy, just like a DVD, you know, you can go look at special features, trailers, behind the scenes. That'll be included with movie purchases on iTunes. Along with, and we knew this was coming, liner notes and all of the extras that you would get with Yay. an old style album. And the best part of it all is Steve Jobs is back. Woo! Yeah, he's been gone for a couple months. Uh, we didn't know why for most of it, and then it came out that he was having a liver transplant. But it's okay, because now he apparently has the liver of a 20-something-year-old who died in a car accident. So, thank you. You donated your liver to Steve I would be. Jobs. I'd be I so excited. I, I was thinking that today. Him. I was like, oh my goodness. I would totally die like a year early to give my liver to Steve Jobs. That would be such an honor. I. <sighs> and our website of the week is textsfromlastnight.com. People just send in these really random and uh, sometimes funny uh, texts that they have on their phone that they find the next morning. Personally, I think some of them are just straight up weird and not really funny at all, but... Check a it out. Maybe it's, like maybe it's it. for a you. A lot of people like it. We're really excited uh, about our iPhone app of the week. So it's called Girlfriend Keeper. And there is a counterpart, Boyfriend Keeper. They're both out there. But it's, it's really sweet. And it does exactly what the title says. So yeah. you start off with a little questionnaire about your relationship with your significant other. And it's going to ask you things like their eye color. When uh, you met, when you started dating... Uh, their birthday, things like that. And then you're going to be able to set the intensity of your relationship, sort of how intimate you are, so it can judge how intimate of texts to send to your girlfriend. You'll set the frequency, and then say you send it once a week. Every week, the program will automatically send a text to your girlfriend, or email, or both if you choose, saying things like, you know we've been dating for... 146 days. Or it'll say your birthday is in 54 days. I think I'm going to get you something green to match your eyes. Really cheesy, but things the girls will love. So long as you don't get found out. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a little experiment and see how long it takes uh, my girlfriend to find out that I'm not actually sending the texts. Pray for me. Uh, now it is time for us to go study because we are very behind now because we have spent so much time doing this video. So... Goodbye. Seriously.